We are here at 19102 Choctaw Road in Deschutes River Woods. This is a three bed, two bath home on 0.82 acres, a little over 1300 square feet, and it is currently listed on the market for $550,000. You can see here that there's a long gravel drive coming in from Choctaw. Choctaw is a gravel road so just a heads up there um, but it comes in from river woods drive which is paved so you can see lots of big ponderosa pines natural landscaping the gravel driveway and the yard is fenced um, on both sides there's not a gate out at front but there is a fenced area up here in the front for kids and pets so let's take a look at the outside so as the listing notes the roof is original from the 90s i believe 1994 so just something to note it's very likely near the end of its useful life it does look to be in good shape from what i can see however so not seeing any moss build up um, pine needles are all removed so overall it does look pretty good the exterior looks to be um, T111 type siding. It also looks like it has been recently painted, so that is good. That helps keep it protected. I don't see any swelling around the bottom edge, which is usually where we would see any issues with T111. We do have gutters up here um, all the way around in the front, and then this whole area is fenced in so you got a hammock here between these huge ponderosa trees and then there's another gate here that goes to the backyard so just coming around the back we can see we do have one vertical crack there in the foundation um so an inspector would check that out usually vertical cracks are okay horizontal ones are the ones we worry about you can see there's a crawl space here and the lot is sloped and it slopes down to the Arnold Canal. The canal is seasonal. It is fed by some of the reservoirs in the area. And so you have wa seasonal water uh, access here from the back of the property. And you can see, you know, the neighbors on both sides, you do have quite a bit of space from both neighbors, lots of privacy. You know, some treed areas back here, as well as some open spaces for sun. And then there is this large deck. So there's a slider from the primary bedroom, as well as French doors coming out of the living and dining room. The deck looks to be in pretty good shape. Probably could use a fresh stain. The railing looks like it has been recently stained and appears to be in good shape. This section has been also maybe newly added or recently uh, stained. So good places for hanging out. There's a step down here and yeah, just a really nice area to enjoy the backyard. And if you can see through there, we've got a neighborhood deer. Oh look, she's looking at us. So windows and doors look to be double pane vinyl windows on this double on this kind of french door not really a french door i don't know what this is but um it does look like it could use a fresh coat of paint and then coming around the side we've got drain tile here <clears throat> propane tank that feeds the stove and then we've got a mini split uh as well so you can see the mini split piece there and this is the person door to the garage and over here we have a little shed so coming on in we see we've got a paved walkway to a wooden deck area really nice front door um, also a little cover for the keyhole and we walk into some hardwood here this does look like it's probably real hardwood and then the living room is tile so 
This says to me that this could be a great potential rental property. The floors are relatively indestructible, um, which is great. And over here, this is an electric stove. So a really great open area here. You can see you've got the dining kitchen kind of wraps around with a breakfast bar here. You've got that little half wall there with the electric stove and then it comes right into the living room with that lot of light bright uh, natural light looking out to the backyard and the canal um, there are some speakers built into the ceiling as well as a ceiling fan and you know overall the finishes in here are pretty good uh, cabinets look to be custom they are not soft clothes but they are wood and then above you see we've got a mini split and this is really what heats the majority heats and cools the majority of the home so newer appliances here we've got a kenmore stainless steel dishwasher a double basin composite sink a kitchenaid propane range and ge micro hood and then here we've got a newer kitchenaid refrigerator freezer with the freezer on the bottom and you can see it's in pretty good shape. Over here, we've got a pantry, lots of storage for the kitchen, and overall, just lots of space in the kitchen and a good flow. So this can make a great gathering area uh, if you did use this as a short-term rental as well. And like I said, the floors are pretty easy to clean and maintain. And behind the bifolds here, we've got the washer dryer. So we've got a Whirlpool washer and a Samsung dryer, some storage above as well. And let's just take a quick look at the garage since we're here. So it is a double car garage. There's a person door over there and some storage over here on this side. And maybe some insulation looks like. And then over here we've got the panel. This looks like it has been updated uh, in 2020. So can take a look at the panel and then the newer sticker from 2020. So now coming to the other part of the house, we've got a front door here, a little dog door, coat rack, and then a coat closet in here. Got the water heater in here. This does look updated. So an inspector would be able to determine the age of the hot water heater, but it does look, doesn't look original. Um, or else it's just in really good shape. So nice storage here. We've got tile going all the way back. So on our left side here, we've got bedroom number one. This faces the front fenced area. You can see we've got closet here. The doors have been removed. And this is probably 12 by 12. Across the hallway, we've got the, so we went into here with like LVP or, you know, engineered hardwoods. And then into the bathroom, we've got tile that's continuous from the living room and hallway. And a vanity here, so same cabinetry as the kitchen. And some storage space, tile, vanity top, some additional storage over here, a little medicine cabinet, and then an electric heater above a cadet. And then here we've got the fiberglass shower surround tub with glass doors. And we're at the back of the house now. So a couple other little storage nooks, linen closets here, and then bedroom number two, currently being used as an office. There is some damage to the hollow core door here. So just a heads up on that. And we're back to uh, engineered wood floors. So this is a dual office uh, as it's currently used. This again faces out towards the fenced area with the hammock. And this room is probably Oh, 12 by 14 with a larger closet that does have the doors and lots of storage.
And last but not least, we will be entering the primary. From here, we go from tile to carpet here in the primary bedroom. You can see again, a nice, good sized closet with some shelving built in as well as some rods. And this goes even deeper into the wall beyond the door. So extra storage here, kind of a blank slate. And those French doors, I think I called them slider earlier, but it's not, it's French doors. And this goes out to the newer part of the deck that looks over the Arnold Canal. And then in here we've got carpet going into what looks to be original tile flooring. You've got that same vanity with the tile um, countertop medicine cabinet above the toilet. This is a fiberglass shower surround shower only with glass doors and some updated plumbing fixtures and a window for ventilation and view out to the canal. So overall, I think this is a really well laid out home. It could work great as a short-term rental, a long-term rental, super affordable. It's got a great layout that's super, you know, open layout here that's great for gathering. And then just tons of space outside for folks to gather, for pets to be kept in the fenced area. Um, it'll need some light cosmetic work, but not a ton. I honestly think it could be pretty turnkey, and this is a fantastic price. So give us a call if you want to see more, and we can also run some projections for you for a long-term or short-term rental. Thank you. And one last detail I want to call out. They do have a solar tube here in the kitchen so this is really nice it allows in a lot of natural light this is like no lights on in the house at all except for the entryway so lots of natural light in here just with that solar tube and i couldn't leave here without showing you the canal so we're just heading on down you can see we've got a lot of little baby ponderosas here natural landscaping and the flowing Arnold Canal. So as I said earlier, this is a seasonal canal. Uh, water will stop flowing in the winter time, but a very beautiful and peaceful place to hang out and be right by the water.